All right, all right, welcome back to Tom's Garage. Ooh, late October. Ooh, look at that, empty shop. Things are slowing down finally. But yesterday I had a fella bring me, uh, it's a little Craftsman push mower with an auto choke quantum style engine. Well, still bringing me lawnmowers. Seems like it's about blower and log splitter season. Whew, I think I've cut my grass for the last time here in Atlanta. Well, he said that little push mower has been sitting for a couple of years. And of course he put some fresh fuel in it and it still won't crank, no cranky. So we are going to fix it. Carburetor cleaning. Let me raise it up. Rest in occasion. All right. I bet you all we got to do is clean that car. Boy, I tell you, I, I have had a dollar for every one of these I've done this year. <laughs> More than a dollar. We are going to uh, pull the tank off, pull the carburetor off, give it a good cleaning. Change the oil, spark plug, sharpen the blade. He said he put a new air filter on it. And that didn't fix it. Here, here. Well, let's get busy. Get busy, busy. Good morning, good morning. All right, all right. Well, he didn't lie. He did put a new air flitter in it. Here we go. All right. I'm going to pull this cover off and so we can get to the carburetor. I'm going to pull this cover off. While I'm still got my 8 millimeter on here. I was going to say he's missing a screw right there, but. Uh, there's no place for a screw right there. Well, 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 well. A little, 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 Let's see, I'm going to, oh, look out, throwing tools. Let me grab my, grab my three inch socket. Grab my three inch socket. Mm -hmm. And get that one bolt in here. That holds the bottom of the fuel tank on. Okay. Put your eight millimeter or five sixteenths socket back on. You got three up here. You got three up here. Give you the old hairy elbow there, boy. Okay. Set that aside. Clamp off the old fuel line. Get the fuel line off there. Break it loose. Pull it off. Now, <coughs> I am going to pull the carburetor on. Pull the carburetor on. Take your little quarter driver and get this wind vane off of there. Careful. If you let this thing get out of its little groove, you got to pull this whole cover off to. So I try not to monkey with that thing much. Okay. 
Right the seal. Remove the throttle linkage. Oh, there it is. All right, let me get my carburetor cleaning pan. Let's see, let's go over here to the working bench here and do this. Got access to my air hose over here. Oh, let me grab my air hose. I'm gonna blow the, blow the junk off of it. Blow the junk off of it. And now, for my next trick, Grab your little half inch socket. Take the bowl off. Oh yeah, look at that. That gas coming out of there is just yellow. Mercy, mercy, look how nasty old that gas is. It's almost neon colored. Ew. 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 Yeah, that is some nasty right there. Oof. Pure nastiness. Pure nasty. Boy, you can smell it too. It is nasty. Here. Clean off the outside. Emulsion tube. Right. There. Got all that nasty inside of there. That's all I needed. It ain't real dirty. It's just got stale gas in it. Stale gas. Yeah. Yeah. Stale gas. Look at look how nasty that is. Just that old stale gas. I tell you, we caught this thing just before that fuel turned so bad it was going to start deteriorating that aluminum in the carburetor. Other than that, it's pretty darn clean. We caught it just in time before it did any serious damage. I cut my fingernails the other night and I can't grab nothing. All right, put that bolt back on and quit acting crazy. I see the little main jet gasket stuck to the bowl, which is fine. It can just stay there. Oh, let's see. Get your little pokey tool and make sure the jet's cleaned. Straight down and straight through. Yeah, nice and cleanly. Put your little main jet bowl nut, uh, bowl screw, bolt, whatever you call it, back on there. Make sure you don't get it cross threaded. And give it up. Yeah. I mean, look how nasty that is. You like it? Here. All right, back to the mower. Back to the lonely mower. I'm gonna dump that gas tank out and blow it out real good. Let's do this without making a mess here. It's too early in the morning to be wearing gasoline. Oh yeah, that's. Man, that's nasty too. I thought he said he put fresh fuel in it. Wow. That is nasty. Nasty, nasty. Try to do this one handed. Phew. You have to hold the fuel tank pretty much perfectly level to get every last little bit out of there. Yeah, that's, man, that's some old stale gas here, boy.
Pretty nasty right there. Pretty nasty. Now we'll stick it back together. Don't lose, don't lose that. Okay. We'll put the carburetor back on there. Start with the throttle linkage, just like that. Make sure that O-ring back here is good and it's still there. It didn't go missing in action. Get your belt started. I'm going. There's that one. Well, the old gray mare just ain't what she used to be. Well, a little bolt. Well, that fuel line is right in my way. All right. There's that. And. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Now we'll take this, put this back on. Remember, see that didn't come out of this little hole. A little hole. Make sure you get that back in the choke plate lever. Make sure she still operates like she got cleaned. Nothing's bound up. All right. All right, all right. Hook your fuel line back up. Mm -hmm. Now we'll get some fuel. Fresh petrol. I believe that's pretty good. Give him a little bit more. He's a nice guy. I started giving people more fuel. I'm trying to get rid of this fuel that's about a month old now. And it's getting into the slow season. I don't want a whole lot of fuel hanging around. I'm getting old. Can't hear that. Oh boy. Yeah, that's almost a whole tank full there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh. 
I'm gonna leave this off. I'm gonna turn this thing over and drain the earl out of it. We'll take this string off the handlebars. We'll just set that aside and put this back on. And don't lose it. All right, let's clear the table. Let's fire this thing up. See how she's going to run. I've already checked the hole in it. <coughs> All right, anything laying around on the table? top cover back on yet because I'm going to turn this thing over and drain the earl out of it. Drain the earl out of it. Put your little ventilation hose back on it and then you can put this back on it. I might have to take this little plastic cover off to put the other cover. I think this, is, this has to go kind of on top of it. No big deal. Just one little Phillips head screw to take out of. All right. Grab your drain bucket. Grab your drain bucket. And we'll go around this side. We'll go around this side. And drain the earl. Yeah, that's gonna drain real slow. I tried to run it for just a few seconds to get it kind of warm so it'll flow better. Now that we're in the cool season, that oil's gonna drain a lot slower. Now while we're doing that, we're gonna come around here, come back around here, and take that blade off and sharpen it. Mulching blade. Everything looks good, nothing's broke. Dude, I wish they'd all come off that easy. That's pretty good. Tell you what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do. Cause I know he'll be back next year. I'm gonna take a little bit of that striker hold. Strike hold. I'm gonna just hit that. That way it won't be seized next season when I sharpen this blade again. Boy, that blade is eat up. I'm gonna use my hand grinder to sharpen this one. Well, maybe not. No, I'm gonna use my RBG 712, I believe. That blade is nice and straight. It's not bent. We'll come right over here. Come right over here.
gooder than enough. That's gooder than enough. So we'll just stick the blade back on. Oh, let me get the strike hold can out of the way. Huh? Good enough. Pardon me. Let's see, that oil is empty. It's just barely a little dripper drippy every now and then. Yep, that oil is black. Oil is black. Well, it's nice being able to walk around inside of the shop without a thousand pieces of equipment in here. Man, this is a wonderful time of year. Now let me dump the oil in these jugs. Well, that is some nasty oil out right there. Her. Her. There. And then we'll come right back over here. And we'll put some fresh earl in it. Put some fresh tropicana in it, as Johnny likes to say. Fresh tropicana. Alright. What I like to do is just start filling it full and try to stop and have it perfect. Try to guess. Try to guess at it. Oh, slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit. I'm doing this job in real time. I'm not doing any editing. I'm not doing any, I'm not pausing the camera or nothing. This is a complete job all the way through. In real time. In real time. I gotta get busy working on back on the house. I've been running some circuits, some outlets, some light fixtures in the house for the generator. Boy, I put way too much in there. Ugh. I don't like wasting the oil. I did, I put way too much in there. Trying to talk to y'all or running my mouth. Don't like wasting the oil. So we'll just drain some back out. Dead burn it. Not too much. That's what you get. That's what you get. Okay. We'll see what that done for it. I didn't waste a whole lot. Maybe about four or five ounces, maybe five ounces. Let's see where that put us. Let's see where that put us. Let it settle a little bit. Good accurate reading. And that is right near perfect, right there. I didn't waste a whole lot. Here. Dump this right in the waste bucket again. Dump it in the waste bucket. That's a shame. Yeah, I feel terrible about having to charge that customer for that oil I just wasted. <laughs> okay. I'm going to change that spark plug there. J19LM is what it's going to be. I am running out of spark plugs. I need to order me some more spark plugs. I ain't been ordering a whole lot of stuff lately. J19LM. Because it's getting low. 
kind of late in the season. And this didn't feel like ordering more stuff. I guess I need to though. I don't want to get completely out of something. Yeah, that's kind of gnarly. I bet that's the original. I bet that's the original spark plug. And this thing is uh, eight years old. Eight years. What is that? That's not a little fluffy nest in there, is it? No, it looks pretty clean in there. Huh. Okay, there's that. Ooh, boy, it was 53 degrees when I come out here an hour ago now it's already 61 warming up it's gonna be in the 70s for the rest of the week it's gonna be 80 and 81 degrees this weekend but you're not here for a weather report okay now i'll put that cover back on there this thing here back off yeah let me pop that off pop it off pop it off and then I'll put the screws back in there that back back them there they are <whistles> Mr. Hope I don't like using my impact around these back end, man. It's just going in plastic. And the way my day's going, I ain't using no more power tools. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come back on and look at her up there. Find a hole for that. Where'd you go? Act right there, a little piece of plastic. Yeah, Lordy, Lordy. Spark plug. He already put a new air filter, changed the oil, cleaned the carburetor, flushed the fuel tank, sharpened the blade, and we are good. We are good. And now I'll show you what I do after I service somebody's mower. I clean it for them. And people sure do like when I do that. Put his, I had to put a string back on there for him. Oh boy. And we will lower it down. come right over here grab your half water half purple power mix and the little spray 
good. One gallon sprayer. I'm gonna blow the dust off this thing. Set the camera back. Don't want to get it wet. Don't want to get it wet. All right. Just try to avoid the air filter. Wonderful, wonderful. job well done now we'll let the sun dry it and that's one more job down appreciate you guys watching the video guys and girls alike Whew, tired already that's all I'm gonna do today right there y'all be good tell somebody I love them and I will catch y'all on the next and love y'all